What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right, so uh, before I get into this video, shout out to the brother Aram for showing love to the channel once again. Salute to you, brother. Love of the golden age of the NBA, 60s through maybe the 1990s. So it's pretty much been a given by modern day fans to call Kyrie Irving the most skilled player of all time. Some people might say Kobe Bryant and Kyrie Irving. Some people might throw Michael Jordan into the mix. Some people might throw, uh, you know, maybe a few other guys. But a while back, Gilbert Arenas on his No Chill podcast brought up an interesting person, a player of the past, a pioneer, as far as, in his opinion, the most skilled basketball player ever. This player was none other than Pistol Pete Maravich. Pistol Pete Maravich, uh, of course, holds the, well, at least the male collegiate Basketball all-time scoring record: three thousand six hundred sixty-seven points. Um, you know, I know some people say Caitlin Clark passed him, but you got to look at certain things in this scenario. Number one, there was no three-point shot when Pete Maravich played. So if he if he was a three-point shot, he would score far more points. Uh, it's been estimated that if there was a three-point shot, instead of averaging forty-four points per game. During his three-year collegiate career, he would average 57. Secondly, there are more collegiate games played today than there was when Pete Maravich played. And third, back in Pete Maravich's time, rookies did not play. So that's why he only played three years instead of four. If it weren't for all these things, then, man, Pete Maravich would have probably scored well over 5,000, maybe even 6,000 points. And we would be having this conversation. But be as it may, after being the most prolific scoring machine college has ever seen, he wanted to have a Hall of Fame career, which didn't quite live up to expectations, but he still had his moments. 1976-77 season, when he was with New Orleans Hornets, pictured here, uh, excuse me, New Orleans Jazz, pictured here. Uh, he averaged 31.1 points per game, winning the scoring title. And in the game, I think it was February 25th, 1977, against the New York Knicks, he scored a career-high 68 points. What's so interesting about that game is that I think Pete Maravich fouled out with more than three minutes to go. And had that not occurred, Pete very well may have scored 75 points. And if there had been a three-point shot, maybe, maybe, maybe he would have eclipsed 80 points. That's how much of a role he was on that particular night. But this is what Gilbert Reader said. Quote, how do you judge Kyrie's skill versus his skill, meaning Pete Maravich's? Kyrie is dribbling and creating moves, one, Maravich, Created passes that to this day have never been duplicated. He had no reference for this creativity. He just did it. Meaning that people like Kyrie Irving and today's modern players have a preset to look at other guys, you know, other players of the past and then building upon it. Whereas Pete Maravich, these things came out of his own mental creativity. There was no other players at the time that he really could, really could emulate. Maybe to a certain extent, guys in the in the um, Hall of Glow Trotters, maybe a guy like uh, Earl the Pro Monroe, but even then, they still weren't doing the things that he was doing. You know, one of the things I've seen Pete Maravich do, and you might see it in slow motion, it's amazing was the fake pass where he'd be dribbling, dribbling, and while he dribbles the ball, he when it comes to his hand, he would fake 
as if he was passing it, but would dribble it again while he's still in motion and then pass it. Like, like some of these things that I saw him do, like the shoulder passes and stuff like that, I don't see people doing that to this day. Now, it's true. He did turn the ball over. But, I mean, hell, can you blame him for some of the degree of difficulty things he was doing? How game the physical was? Uh, excuse me, how physical the game was? How game the physical was? Man, that physical killed me, man. That doctor, man. But um, I can see what he's talking about. You know, and it's good to finally see Gilbert Arenas. Well, then again, you know, this was a few a while back. Before Gilbert became so corrupted by the powers to be, you know what I'm saying? Now he's just talking some mumble jumble babble. But back when he was really being honest, you know, and speaking his real mind, his true thoughts, it's good to see him give some love to a player like Pete Maravich, who I think deserves a lot more credit than what he's been getting, especially as a Blake. And yeah, I think in today's NBA, Pete Maravich would be First of all, I think he would be far more uh, efficient. Um, you got to remember, this guy was playing in the league where you definitely still had trees. You know what I'm saying? You had trees down low. Excuse me. But he played from 1970 to 1980, so you, he had to contend with guys like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Wilt Chamberlain and Willis Reed and Elvin Hayes and Wes Unseld. Uh, August Gilmore when he came to the NBA, uh, later on Moses Malone, even though Moses wasn't much of a shot block, but still the guy was 6'10", 270, 260. Um, you know, a Bill, Bill, uh, Bob Lanier, uh, I mean, just a plethora of big men, Jack Sigma, uh, you know, it, it was like today when the lanes are, Sort of wide open. And then you have to come over and to, to contest if you're a big man. You have to come over and try to contest. And oftentimes, they get beaten. Whereas, he's trying to score over over big men. So the degree of difficulty was was there. I, I, I would say, isn't it fair to say that if he shot 44% back then, wouldn't it be fair to say he would shoot at least 40% 8% today, you know, plus he was a guy shooting from deep well before the likes of hell, before the likes of of, of Chuck Person and, and Thunder Dan, let alone uh, Steph Curry. Now, I'm not saying he would be a, a shooter of Steph Curry's caliber, but I think he hold his own. And I think the NBA is tailor made for his skill set today, tailor made. So it's good to see him give um, some love to a legend like Pete Maravich. Um, you know, it's one of the few times I agree with Gilbert Arenas. But tell me what you guys think.